Princess Firefly Lucinda just finished a day's work. But it seems she's in trouble. Look there, a firefly princess with such ordinary wings. The whole firefly tribe doesn't have anyone beautiful. <laughs> Dare you mock the firefly tribe? It's only morning and already so noisy. Knowing Lucinda isn't beautiful but still teasing her. Oops. What did you say? That's it. They always end up arguing whenever they meet. Lucinda is a diligent firefly princess. She's always the earliest to start working as soon as the sun sets. Everyone go to the other side. I'll go to this side. While Lucinda is working, an uninvited guest arrives. Mabel, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm here under the queen's orders to supervise the flower garden. It's too dark. I can't see anything. Huh? Knowing Mabel is deliberately showing off to the Queen, Lucinda still tries her best to do her own work well. Look at my butterfly wings. They have both color and sparkling light. I don't have time to show off like someone else. So, I don't need to tell you. Everyone already knows. The Queen organizes a party during the day. Lucinda takes time off to attend. Mabel. Come sit here with me. <laughs> no one cares about Lucinda's lack of beauty anymore. All attention is on Mabel. They gossip that Mabel will become a goddess and succeed the queen huh? in the future. Mabel is so beautiful. Your Majesty, will you make Mabel a goddess? Oh, is that what they're saying outside? Do you want to become a goddess? Huh? Queen gives Lucinda a chance, <laughs> with the condition that she must prove her talent and earn the respect of the fairies. I will visit everyone regularly. <laughs> Lucinda changes her working hours to daytime, even though she's a firefly. The pollen will make my wings colorful. <laughs> Keep trying, it's useless. <laughs> Then I will make everyone admire me. Huh? Oh. But no matter how hard Lucinda works, she can't compete with the fairies who are used to collecting pollen. It's too hot, too dazzling, too blinding. The scorching sun makes her uncomfortable. Lucinda rests in the shade. Intentionally pretending to be tired, so we have to do extra work. <gasps> <gasps> the fairies tell Mabel their story, unexpectedly. Last time Lucinda showed us the way, consider it my payback. <gasps> Just a few baskets of pollen. We're fairies, not fireflies to be compared with. The princess is truly noble. The fairies tease each other. They didn't expect. Lucinda is resting huh? below. Ah! Oh my, why are you lying around here? Sorry me quickly. Did I tell you to lie here? Huh? It's unreasonable. Huh? The fairies all sided with Mabel. <laughs> no one stands up for Lucinda, leaving her feeling lonely and dejected. Are we going too far? It's her fault. Feeling huh? sad and lonely, Lucinda returns to the Firefly tribe to visit everyone. The Firefly tribe is diligent but not recognized and always bullied. At all costs, I must become a goddess to restore justice for the Firefly tribe. In this land, there is a forbidden place that no one dares to approach. Which wind brought the Firefly princess to this desolate place? Sir, is there a way to make my wings colorful? It's simple, but... Whatever it is, I agree. <laughs> Guess what condition the witch will propose to Lucinda? The princess has returned! Huh? <laughs> From now on, I won't leave anymore. From then on, Lucinda rests <sighs> during the day. Why don't we see Lucinda today? She's lazy to work. At night, Lucinda and the Fireflies diligently work. 
everyone catch insects. I need them to fertilize the plants. Everyone loves and trusts her unconditionally. Even though Lucinda's actions are very strange. By now, you may have guessed Lucinda's deal with the witch, haven't you? The deal begins. These insects will help me gain power and help the princess get what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> the fairies don't know that their worst nightmare is about to begin. The most confident thing they had, their colorful wings, now become ordinary, dull. Instead, Lucinda is getting closer to her dream. <laughs> Don't harm her! Don't worry, I'll just knock her out. Then I'll take her back. Huh? <laughs> Every day, a fairy silently disappears. Lucinda's <laughs> wings shine even brighter, which surprises the Firefly <laughs> tribe. The princess's wings are so beautiful. <laughs> Why is this happening? But when Mabel asks who's capturing the fairies, everyone shakes their heads. That person uses power to blind us! When Lucinda appears huh? with colorful wings, Mabel starts to suspect. Where did the colors of your wings come from? Of course, I collected pollen. <laughs> While Lucinda's not paying attention, Mabel has been watching her all along. Hmm, I only see you playing around, not doing anything. Mabel follows Lucinda all day, finally discovering. <laughs> What the heck is this? Lucinda, I won't let you get away with this. Mabel plans to return and report to the Queen. Mabel, were you spying on me? If not, how would I know you're dealing with a witch who harms the butterfly tribe? Lucinda lacks colors to become a rainbow wings. And it's convenient to have someone come to offer herself. Lucinda, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Unbelievable! The witch can't forgive those who know too much. <clears throat> Let her live! If she lives, our deal will be exposed. Just keep her locked up until I become queen. The witch agrees to Lucinda's request. Hold on, your wings are not yet complete. The witch says to maintain the rainbow color on her wings, Lucinda must capture someone from the Firefly tribe. So he huh? can take all the light from the Firefly tribe and transfer it to her wings. No, I won't agree. The Firefly tribe always loves and respects her. Lucinda's huh? determined not to let the witch take advantage. <clears throat> if you defy me, you'll lose everything. Don't even think about touching the Firefly tribe. <laughs> Impossible. Huh? This is just a warning. If you don't <laughs> listen to me, your wings will lose their color too. <laughs> the witch threatens that if she doesn't obey, he will spread rumors that Lucinda and the Firefly tribe are plotting against the Butterfly tribe. By then, the queen will be angry and the Firefly tribe will be doomed. What have I done? I've harmed the Firefly tribe. All I wanted was for the Firefly tribe to be treated fairly. Why don't your wings shine? What happened, Princess? Nothing, I'm fine. Please don't hide anything from us. <sighs> Lucinda confesses everything. She will bid farewell to the Firefly tribe and risk her life to defeat the witch. We will help you defeat the witch. 
I won't let the Firefly tribe get involved. Fighting huh? against him and you can't win. Mabel, why are you? Didn't expect to escape and come here to catch you, did you? It turns out Mabel was imprisoned by the witch, but she managed to escape. <sighs> I will go to the Queen and confess. The Queen is nowhere to be found. What trick did you pull? Huh? Maybe it's the witch's doing. Mabel, let's join forces to find her. Though not <laughs> believing Lucinda yet, Mabel still agrees because she wants to find the Queen. <clears throat> Bring the Queen out! Mabel, you're so naive. Following Lucinda to defeat me, then she'll <clears throat> become the Queen in the end. He's trying to sow discord between us. Mabel! Lucinda, huh? you who have protected the Firefly tribe, now we will protect mm. you. <laughs> the power of the Firefly tribe is hard to compete with the witch. <laughs> Mabel, please help us. <laughs> because of my greed, I took away the color of the Butterfly tribe. Now I'll return it. <laughs> I will stay here to pay for my actions. Please take the Firefly tribe back. Do it yourself. I'm not free. <laughs> the Butterfly tribe should reunite with the Firefly tribe. <laughs> but the witch didn't know <laughs> that if both tribes united, something <laughs> unexpected would happen. Huh? Your Majesty, why are you protecting him? I will explain everything. It turns out Mayo in this dark swamp was harming pests to protect the flower garden. Over time, people thought he was a witch and avoided him. The Queen asked Mio to test Lucinda if she came here. On this occasion, she also wanted everyone to understand Mio and the Firefly tribe deserved respect. <laughs> Lucinda, though you made mistakes, you corrected them huh? in time. I will give you a chance to become a goddess alongside Mabel. I will try my best. From then on, Lucinda always diligently did her job well. <laughs> hmm. Lucinda and Mabel changed for the better. Occasionally, hmm. Mabel would invite Lucinda to collect pollen together. But one thing for sure hasn't changed. That is the secret. No one should reveal it to anyone. That secret is, Lucinda is allergic to pollen. Tales of supernatural powers and mysteries have always been a top priority in gatherings. especially the nine-tailed fox, a species considered to be the most beautiful and powerful. The interesting story is so captivating that even Alicia, the fox with huh? just one unique tail, was drawn to it. No, a nine-tailed fox cannot be real. The nine-tailed fox! The nine-tailed fox has harmed people! <gasps> no! It can't be true! Huh? According to Lucky Eyewitness who survived, the nine-tailed fox is the culprit who harmed a demon hunter living in the edge of the forest. Elysia was about to defend her fellow huh? species when a demon hunter intervened. Huh? There must be something fishy going on. The fox tribe prohibits harming humans. But prejudice is still prejudice. With suspicious and doubtful uh -huh. eyes, along with whispers, the rumor spread even further. Uh -huh. To restore the purity of her tribe, huh? Alicia mm -hmm. greeted and teamed up with Felix to uncover the truth behind it. It was dark, and Alicia huh? led Felix into the forest. Huh? The wind started to pick up, and a pair of cold, menacing eyes appeared interminably in the darkness. 
The behavior huh? of the owner of those eyes huh? was very mysterious, hmm. forcing huh? Alicia huh? to exert all her huh? strength to resist. Huh? However, huh? the power of that person was too formidable, and Alicia was no match for him. Huh? Alicia's father and brothers appeared in time and immediately took Felix back to the human town. The wind stopped blowing and the stranger disappeared. Alicia only managed to pick up the mask that the person dropped. Stop it! Huh? Don't do anything huh? pointless! Mm. Mm. Feeling that her father was hiding something, that night, Alicia secretly followed him out of the house. Alicia's father sneaked deep into the forest and stopped by a dark and eerie ancient temple. Behind a mysterious screen, the graceful and charming silhouette of a girl appeared faintly. The one who has fought the demon hunter under the town? Was it you, Dahlia? If it was, then what about it? Nine tails, oh my god! Alicia was extremely shocked, not huh? believing her own <gasps> eyes. Who's there? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Alicia's huh? father recognized his daughter and quickly stopped her. Alicia, leave here quickly. Huh? Huh? Dahlia, stay still inside the temple and don't try to step outside or else. But I can't wait anymore. Huh? Huh? Alicia asked her father on the way back. Unable huh? to hide it, he told her a story mm. and warned her to keep it a secret. Huh? This happened 20 years ago. At the time, Brian of the Nine Constellations was still the clan chief, and he possessed great power. Thanks to him, the Fox Clan became one of the most sacred and noble clans. <laughs> However, Brian also had a weakness. Huh? On the first moon day, his power would completely disappear. He was saved by Dahlia, the weakest human girl in town, who was being chased by the demon hunter. <clears throat> when he recovered, Brian returned to the forest and, knowing the difference, decided not to have anything huh? to do with that girl anymore. <laughs> Dare to hide from us huh? monsters? <laughs> Tired of living? Huh? But when he heard Dahlia's familiar scream, I <laughs> couldn't resist and rescued her back to the first. They loved and happily welcomed their child's birth. <laughs> One day, tragedy happened. Dahlia was tricked to return to the village and became a hostage to lure Brian out. Release her, and I'll do whatever you want! One for one. Then how about two? If you... No, Brian! Please go, leave huh? me! I'm also human. They won't harm me! Ah! Huh? There's no other way. Brian! Use all your strength to transfer the precious spirit of the fox to your wife. Uh. He's weakening! Quickly take the chance to destroy him! Huh? My son, you must protect your mother from me. Uh. 
the time I arrived, everything huh? had already happened. I was only able to save Dog and the newborn ah. child. <laughs> huh? Dahlia became a half fox due to the transfer. Wake up, my love! How can we live without you? Uh, just sleep for a while. Everything will be fine. Uh, half foxes are very dangerous. They can easily turn to demons if they can't control their emotions. However, Brian, my dearest blood brother, loved her. I can't bear to destroy Dahlia. <gasps> have been taken to the secret location of the Fox Clan for treatment. Please wear this mask and wait here. Hmm. This is the only hope for Dahlia to survive until now, and it also somewhat restrains her from becoming a demon and destroying humans. Dahlia will live alone like this for days and months, till the day she becomes stronger and can escape on her own. <laughs> She went to the village, seduced the bad demon hunter, and separated his family to ask him to remove the mask. Huh? <laughs> Dahlia unleashed her power and hurt the demon hunter, but it seems that this was not enough. She wanted to revenge everyone who was there that day, or even worse, all humans. Everything has gone beyond my control. It's time to discuss this with the whole clan. Alicia, huh? you stay here and keep watching for any anomalies. Mm. Mm? After a while, Alicia saw a bright light shining from the temple huh? and ran towards it in fear. Half an hour ago, while Alicia and her father huh? were talking, Felix had followed the trail and found the Nine-Tailed Temple. Huh? Mm. Since Elysia's father's seal only worked on those one with magic, mm. Felix easily entered. Mm. Huh? Before losing consciousness, I saw that face so, so familiar. He reached out to take off the mask as Dahlia had instructed, but Alicia arrived just in time to stop him. Stop! You dare to interfere with my plan? I must take revenge and absorb their life force! Only then can I wait for the day my husband returns. I have done nothing wrong. They destroyed my family! Stop this madness. Even if you do anything, your husband has already left. Revenge will only turn you into a demon. Unexpectedly, after hearing this, the Nine-Tailed went crazy and began to lose her mind and slaughter those around her. The pain not only turned her into a demon, but also shattered the mask she was wearing to pieces. At this time, Alicia was no longer a match for Dahlia. She and Felix were on the brink of death. At this moment, the veil covering Felix's face flew off, revealing a face that looked exactly like Brian's. Dahlia vaguely noticed something unusual and quickly stopped. But it seemed like it was too late. Felix was barely breathing. In agony, Dahlia held Felix and rushed outside to seek treatment. But the fox tribe arrived. Please let me save him! Once I've saved him, I will go with you. Please, even if you want my life, I beg you. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. 
Alicia's father took Felix for treatment while Dahlia was imprisoned. Alicia later visited Dahlia and told her about Felix's condition. Huh? Thanks to receiving timely treatment, his condition improved and he huh? was out of danger. Please let me borrow your body to see him. Just once is enough. Then I will fulfill my wish and leave. Huh? Without huh? waiting for Alicia's agreement, huh? Dahlia's soul gem escaped huh? her body and entered Alicia's body. Mm. Under the guise of Alicia, the nine-tailed fox met Felix mm. and he told her his story. Hmm. Finally, mm. Felix became human thanks to his foster uncle in the Demon Hunter team, who always reminded him that the fox tribe was not evil and not to harm them. For years, Felix had carried a painting of his mother with him until he met Dahlia. <laughs> Do you resent your parents for not being able to take care of you? I'm grateful to them for bringing me into this world to discover interesting things. I am happy. Knowing the huh? answer, Dahlia smiled mm. and left Alicia's body. Mm. Huh? Thank you for letting me borrow your body. I don't want to become a demon. It's time for me to go. Hmm. But what about Felix? He has grown up. I have to let go of the hatred and look forward to a better future. Who knows, Brian is waiting for me to be reborn. Before Dahlia disappeared, huh? Felix seemed to have a hunch and ran outside. So the two mothers and their son smiled and said their first and final goodbyes. Back home huh? that night, Alicia heard a voice <laughs> urging her repeatedly. When she opened her eyes, she appeared next to the ancient temple where Ninetales once lived. As soon as Elysia touched the ancient tree, huh? her body suddenly transformed. Huh? At the same time, the ancient tree shook and opened a strange portal. On the other side, a man huh? rushed out. It was Chad. Huh? <laughs> Didn't I defeat you already? If one day you discovered a world where you could meet your deceased loved ones, what would you do? Can you overcome that pain? <laughs> Green Snake was no longer here, but even after all this time, White Snake huh? still couldn't overcome this harsh hmm. truth. You had a nightmare again? It's okay. It's okay. I'm here. Green Snake disappeared. She disappeared again in my dream. Where is Clover? Where is Clover? Mom, what's going on? I was sleeping. Okay. Okay. Green Snake is still here. Green Snake, Mom, you've mistaken me for Auntie again. You impose everything on me, turning me into Auntie's substitute. Auntie's gone! Please don't do that again! You! Despite Devlin's consolation, the daughter knew she was at fault. But Wise Snake's heart was still shattered into pieces. Taking advantage of her husband's deep sleep, Wise Snake sadly went to the house where the two sisters lived before. Just then, a shooting star suddenly flew by. Please, God! Let me see Green Snake one more time, please. I'm so foolish. How can that happen? She walked tiredly <laughs> under an old tree until the bright light appeared, awakening White Snake. The light opened a strange mm. gate, and on the other side mm. was another world. White Snake was still stunned when she saw someone who looked exactly like Green Snake passing by. <gasps> go, go, Green Snake! <laughs> Just like White Snake, Green Snake's emotions burst when she saw her sister. 
Mod Snake immediately wanted to take her sister back through the old gate. But no matter how hard they tried, Green Snake couldn't step through. Why? Why can't you? This is the land of souls. After death, the souls will gather here and live another life. Sister, although hmm. I never forget you, but here I also have a very peaceful life. <gasps> to prove that she was doing well, Green Snake took White Snake everywhere to experience life in the land of souls. Hmm. Mrs. Mary, your son sent a bouquet of flowers and a basket of fruits with a message, We are safe. Hope you're reassured. <laughs> ah. Here, the souls can receive things that the living sent to them. So did you receive the things I sent to you? Of course. Mm -hmm. The bouquet of flowers <laughs> you sent last time was so ugly. <gasps> The two sisters had a very happy day until dusk. It's not good. It's getting dark. White Snake, you have to go home now. In this land, when it's dark, a type of wild demon formed from grudges will awaken. They fly around everywhere, and as long as a soul has a slightly different scent, they will take it away. You're not from this land. With the taste of the living like that, they can easily find you. White Snake reluctantly <gasps> returned to the world of the living, even though she didn't want to. Don't be sad. The gate is still there. Tomorrow you can come back and visit me again. <laughs> As White Snake walked through the gate, she saw that the sky in the world of the living was already bright. It turns out that these two worlds are reversed in time. When the sky began to darken, White Snake hurriedly returned to the other world, not wanting to miss a moment with her sister. However, she was too eager and arrived in the land of the souls before the sky had fully brightened and was immediately taken away by a terrifying creature. White Snake woke up in a dark, chilly castle. It was the demoness who brought us here. Because we were together all day, the smell of life also clings to me. Ah! Huh. Uh, not this sense. She has a pure soul. <laughs> mm. Wait, bring her back. Find a way to lure out that living body. Hmm. But she hasn't forced me to say anything yet, and you've already been captured. <gasps> hmm. <gasps> huh. Don't be afraid. I won't harm you. In fact, I have a very beneficial deal to offer. <gasps> <gasps> a beneficial deal? Yes. Just give me your magical powers. Stop being a fairy, and I will help Green Snake return to the land of the living. No way, sister. Don't listen to her. But this mm. is the greatest desire of White Snake's life. Mm. She is willing to trade her own life for it. Because being a fairy is nothing compared to this. With the power of White Snake, the demoness transformed and became incredibly powerful. She was also a person of integrity, and before leaving, she truly cast a spell so that Green Snake could return to the land of the living. The two sisters happily left the castle and headed towards the gate. Before leaving, Green Snake wanted to say goodbye to her closest friend in the land of the soul. She was happy for White Snake, but before she could finish speaking, her body began to dissolve. Why? Why? Why is this happening? I don't want to leave like this. Green Snake, please save me. It's impossible for my parents to forget about me. When we return to the other world, please help me find out why. <laughs> That's right. This can't be happening. We must find out everything. Hmm. On the way back, Many souls were talking and laughing as usual, without knowing why they suddenly disappeared.
The souls in this land also have limits. If elderly or sick people pass away, their souls here will also disappear when no one remembers them in the living world. But why could it happen at the same time like that? Could it be the demoness? As feared by Green Snake and White Snake, hmm. the one behind all of this <laughs> is the Demoness, just a few hours ago. With the power of White Snake, she flew through the gate back to the land of the living hmm? to find her lover. The Demoness, when she was alive, was named Ella. She once had a beautiful and touching love story with David, but a sudden tragedy struck. Ella was wrongfully accused and passed away forever. The unresolved bitterness and regret in Ella's heart caused her to turn into the demoness in the realm of souls. The closer Ella was to seeing her beloved one, whom she longed for so much, the more she crumbled when she saw that David had a new happy life. In the end, it turns out that only Ella was trapped in the past and unable to move on. The pain and anger made Ella want to destroy everything. If she couldn't intervene in the land of the living, Ella would make all the souls in the land of the dead gradually forgotten like her. When Green Snake and White Snake hmm. arrived, the memories of the living about the deceased were slowly disappearing. That was also the reason why the souls in the realm of souls disappeared suddenly. Ella was found by the two sisters while standing beside a grave, feeling sad and desperate. Because White Snake had been to the realm of souls, even though the demoness could not intervene with humans in the little world, she still affected White Snake. Stop it! Go back to the land of souls! This is not the place for you! <laughs> forget it! I'd rather lose my soul than go back there. He's about to forget about me anyway, so I'll just disappear. With no <gasps> other choice, White Snake had to defeat the demoness. You fool! If you defeat me, Green Snake will have to return. It's better to let me go. I'll destroy the land of souls, and Green Snake will never have to come back. Never! The land of souls is where mm. the departed can exist. Even if they can no longer see their loved ones, their memories will become the motivation for the soul to live in a new world. At least, we will both remember each other. Look at your sister, White Snake. She doesn't even want to stay with you. That's not true. Don't believe her. Look, this spell only allows her to appear here. She can't come back to life. If she stays here, she will only be a soul. And she certainly can't be happy. Those who have passed away should disappear completely. Don't be like me, holding on to old wounds and giving up everything to visit my lover only to be forgotten. How could you understand? <laughs> the intense pain overwhelmed the demoness, causing her to unleash all her power in one final strike. The battle was extremely brutal until the demoness magic beam was deflected and flew towards a man who was entering the cemetery. Before Green and White Snake could do anything, the demoness rushed at the terrifying speed and blocked the man, taking the full force of her own magic. <laughs> you foolish idiot! Even though I knew this magic wouldn't affect him, I still unconsciously wanted to protect him. The man walked through the demoness and quietly knelt beside the grave. He tidied up the surroundings as if he had made a habit of doing it many times before. He told stories about recent events around him, all trivial and insignificant. Ella, I came to tell you some news. I've met someone who gives me the motivation to keep on living. After you left, I neglected my own life and drowned myself in the worst days. Then that person appeared, telling me that you would never be happy if I wasn't happy. Ella, will you wish me happiness? I will never forget you, because you are the most important person to me, in the past, now, and forever. I bless you. 
Oh my, her body! <laughs> her soul has been purified. Ella is no longer a demoness. You are? This may be hard to believe, but I was Ella's old friend. She dreamed of wishing for your happiness. Ella, you saw Ella in your dream. Thank you. <laughs> there is no more time. Let's quickly return to the land of the soul. <laughs> After the demoness walked through calmly, the gate gradually narrowed, <laughs> as if preparing to disappear forever. Sister, I have to go now. We were people of two worlds, and although we couldn't be together, we will all eventually find happiness in our good memories with each other. I understand. That's where I find my happiness too. I love you, sister. The two sisters smiled and said goodbye to each other, slowly watching the gate close. <laughs> Everyday life continued, and Whitesnake was very happy in the warmth of her family. She cared about her child's emotions and didn't force them to do things they didn't like anymore. The mother and daughter became close friends. Do you think I've lost my mind? What happened? How could my daughter lose her mind? Do you and Dad believe that we can meet the deceased? Yesterday, I met someone who had passed away in my dream. Yes, I believe. <laughs> Legend had it that, once upon a time, there was a beautiful moon queen who lived in the mystic forest. By chance, she met and fell in love with the king of the Light Kingdom. Together, they had two cute princesses named Irene and Sarah. However, their happiness didn't last long when the evil force led by Owl in the mystic forest usurped the power of the queen. Although the king and the almighty wizard tried to stop it, only Irene was saved, and Sarah was still carried away by that owl. Heartbroken by the loss of his wife and young child, the king used all his magic to build a wall of light to protect Irene. Day by day, Irene grew up in the care and love of the king. Irene was very kind, but she was the only child in the family. She still had a bit of pride and frivolity, causing a lot of trouble for everyone. <gasps> huh? Mm. huh? <laughs> Furthermore, she always sensed that there was something mysterious on the other side of the wall. However, because of her father and the wizard's warnings about a terrifying forest there, she never got close to the wall. One day, while she was helping poor people, she discovered that a villager sneaked two servings of food and ran into a small alley. With her chivalrous nature, she hurried after that person and discovered that she was silently passing food through a hole in the wall of light. Mm, let me see who you are. How dare you break the wall of light and seduce the people here to be your minions? However, after Irene caught that person, she realized her face was very similar to hers. Why do you look like me? However, when they touched each other's hand, suddenly a part of the wall vibrated and turned dark. Huh? Irene, what happened? Get away from the wall of light now! Hearing her father's call, Irene panicked and let go of the other girl's hand, causing the wall to suddenly collapse, and she was almost injured if it wasn't for her father's help. Father, you're hurt. I will take you home to recuperate. While Irene was hurrying to take the king back to the palace, the wizard suddenly fell silent and glimpsed the figure of the other girl as she left. The, the princess is still alive? So God helps good people. After the wizard returned and learned that the king's condition was not very good, she immediately talked to Irene about what she had just discovered. Don't huh? worry too much, Princess Irene. The person you just met is your sister, the moon princess Sarah, and the one who will help you find the wish flower in the mystic forest. That flower can grant you any 
many wish on the planet, including restoring the king's health. That's also the reason why the owl betrayed your parents and took Sarah away. Luckily, God helped Sarah to be safe and give us the opportunity to save the king. So, how can I and Sarah find a place where wish flower is hidden? As long as the two of you are together, the synergy from your tattoos will activate and indicate the direction of the wish flower. Thank you, I understand. Mm. I will try to <gasps> find my sister and help my mm. father get well again. Later, the wizard <laughs> helped Irene cross the wall of light into the forest to find mm. Sarah. But she didn't notice that a dark light was also following her. The mystic forest was mysterious and magical, so that Irene gradually got lost and even heard strange beasts and whispers around there. Not thinking much, Irene quickly used light magic to ward off the evil forces around her, but that only made them angrier. Just as Irene was about to continue fighting, Sarah hurriedly appeared, using magic to block her light attack. Mm, princess of the Kingdom of Light, please stop and don't hurt them! Why? These creatures are trying to attack me, so I'm just defending. Has anyone really attacked you? But you were hurting them like that! Looking back at the creatures around, Irene realized that she had been too hasty and injured them. Huh? Moreover, there were only mm -hmm. gentle creatures and poor people left behind mm -hmm. when the Wall of Light was built. Mm -hmm. So please don't huh? harm them. I'm sorry. Just because I heard that this forest has a lot of ferocious creatures and I also wanted to find you sooner. That's why I was so hurried. Please forgive me. Afterward, huh? Irene told Sarah the story mm -hmm. of her parents, as well as how she was lost many years ago by a cruel force. But Sarah completely huh? denied her sister's story. Although they have a scary appearance, they are always happy, live in harmony with me, and no one wants to harm me like people said. Even the owl just wanted to protect me from the evil and darkness in the palace, so he brought me here for everyone to take care of. This story is very different from what I've been told by the wizard, but... If what you said is just a misunderstanding, after finding the wish flower, help our father regain consciousness and he will definitely destroy the wall of light so that everyone can return and live happily together as before. Well, if I help Irene find the flower and the people in the forest will have a better life, then I can't give up on this opportunity. Seeing the deal was reasonable, <laughs> Sarah agreed to go with Irene to find the wish flower. As Irene and Sarah <laughs> held hands, a surge huh? of power radiated from their bodies, creating a path of light in front of them. They followed the path and arrived in huh? front of a big cave without any doors to go inside. <laughs> Look, on the wall there are sun moon characters very similar to the ones on our hands. Yes. This is more likely the way to enter this cave. Let's try it together. Irene and Sarah immediately <gasps> put their hands on the wall, when suddenly the ground shook. A mysterious gate appeared in front of the cave and led them inside. Gradually, the garden was filled with brilliant flowers, and the tall, majestic angel statue appeared. Welcome to my flower forest. I am the angel guarding this place, and surely you two are the sun and moon princesses wanting to come here to find the wish flower, right? Right. We want to possess that flower to save our father as well as to clear the misunderstanding between mm. the Light Kingdom and the Mystic Forest. It's simple. The flower you are looking for is the most beautiful huh? one huh? here. However, you must find that flower yourself in the middle of this flower huh? forest huh? <laughs> before the hourglass runs out or you will run out of chances huh? to get the flower. <laughs> We got it. Mm. And one more huh? thing. If you choose wrong, huh? the chosen flower will be wilted, which means huh? your father losing a day to huh? live. Huh? Hearing the statue's words, huh? Irene and Sarah frantically tried to choose the correct one, but failed. Huh? Irene gradually looked desperately towards the hourglass that was nearing its end, but all she got was a handful of dead flowers in her hand. 
I'm so sorry. If only I had been more careful at that time, my <gasps> father wouldn't have suffered like this. Irene, don't be upset. I believe our father also just wanted to protect you. He didn't want you to be hurt, huh? but accepted to sacrifice himself at that time. Besides, father must be very proud to see your efforts now. Sarah, I feel that your hearts and fathers are very similar. Always generous, shining and warm like spring flowers. It's so beautiful. The most beautiful in the world. Mm. That's right. In that case, the most beautiful flower is each person's heart. Irene and Sarah happily looked towards the left breast of the angel statue, where there was a stone flower, which was the wish flower they had been looking for. Congratulations to the two princesses for choosing correctly. May the two of you use this only wish for the most worthy things. However, the two girls did not have time to rejoice for long, when suddenly a dark light nearby turned into the wizard and suddenly attacked them. The wish flower is finally mine! It turned out that the wizard had always wanted to use the magic of the two princesses to get to the place where the wish flower was hidden. But that plan was foiled due to the intervention of the owl. <laughs> With this flower, I will bring the people of the Light Kingdom and the Mystic Forest to worship me as their queen! However, Irene couldn't let the Light Kingdom and the Mystic Forest suffer, so she still tried to resist her. Well, but even so, then Sarah and I will try to overthrow you and bring peace to everyone with the power of the moon and the sun. If we can't do it, there will be descendants who can do it. Ha ha ha, that's right. Then I wish that I would be the person with the ultimate power so that everyone would respect me and not dare to betray me. Ha 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 ha! As soon as she finished speaking, the wizard immediately turned into a wish flower. Because the flower was the source of the supreme magic that could do everything in this world. Sarah tried hard and happily huh? hugged Irene. But the dark magic of the wizard just now was so strong that Sarah collapsed, gradually dissipating. Huh? The wish flower gives me only one wish. I cannot save both father and Sarah. Therefore, I am willing to give my life for the flower so that I can save my father and my sister. After saying that, a flash of light enveloped Irene and Sarah, as well as the king in the Light Kingdom, and saved the three of them. <laughs> Irene, your great heart has been penetrated by God, and I will help you live with your family forever. So please cherish this. <laughs> Thank you so much! After saying goodbye to the angel, Irene and Sarah returned to the kingdom in the joy of the king and cleared huh? all misunderstandings. Mm. Finally, the wall of light was also removed, and the people of the two kingdoms once again lived happily ever after. <laughs> There was a little fairy who was very interested in music and lived in the fairy's forest, named Lilith. In her spare time, she danced and sang with magical creatures in the forest. One day, while Lilith was playing, she suddenly received an invitation to attend the next queen selection ceremony, which was only for potential descendants. Lilith was invited to sing for the new Descendants of Light in front of the entire people. Although Lilith didn't like crowded places, she agreed, because she didn't want to disappoint everyone's expectations. <laughs> While walking on the road, Lilith began to practice singing along with the birds. Her melodious voice was so beautiful that a strange creature accidentally heard it and danced to her lyrics. However, the appearance of that creature startled Lilith and caused a commotion at the great ceremony. This made Sarah, a proud female bird and the best candidate for the throne, very angry. Lilith, what are you doing? You just ruined our forest important ceremony. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Just now, 
I saw a strange creature up there, so I accidentally fell down here. What creature? Stop making silly excuses. Anyway, you have to get punished for ruining this ceremony. While Sarah was about to bully Lilith, suddenly the magic orb of light, the orb representing the queen's successor, flew towards Lilith and selected her as the next queen. This incident surprised everyone, especially Lilith herself. I was chosen to be the next queen, but someone like me, how can I hold this position? Right! Why would the magic orb of light choose a shy, clumsy person like Lilith as the next queen? Until now, the magic orb of light always chooses the person who has the qualities of a great leader. Therefore, although people find Lilith to be introverted or quiet, I believe Lilith must be a worthy person for the magic orb of light to choose her as the next queen. However, Lilith was also confused about the decision of the magic orb of light because she found herself not as talented as everyone expected. Before the queen of the forest announced Lilith as her successor, yet she discovered that the magic orb of light had some cracks. Or is it because this magic orb of light is cracked, so it has not enough magic to choose correctly? Actually, that didn't really affect the decision. She is right. Maybe after the collision, the magic orb of light lost part of the eternal light, so the wrong person was chosen. Moreover, if we let the magic orb of light lose the eternal light, the forest will be engulfed in darkness. Therefore, I want to find the lost part of eternal light to recover magic from the orb and confirm who is the next queen. I also want to redefine this. Okay, if that's what you want, then go to the magic waterfall and find the eternal light for the orb. Afterward, Lilith and Sarah huh? set out to find the eternal light. They flew to a dark labyrinth and were blocked by huh? giant thorns. Sarah immediately flew up to find huh? a way out, but the trees here also grew faster and faster, blocking Sarah's view. Sarah was angry and used her magic to burn the trees, but they were still unharmed. <laughs> Sarah, please stop! All living things have a life, so please don't destroy them. You know nothing. I gotta get out of the labyrinth as quickly as possible, so stay away from me. While Lilith was upset because she couldn't stop Sarah's actions, she suddenly huh? discovered there were turtles in the forest. <laughs> Sarah, stop it. I've got a way to get us out of here. What? Do you have a way? There are turtles that are very similar to my friends, and turtles usually like to live in wet places. If so... Maybe they'll get us out of the labyrinth and into the waterfall. Although she was half suspicious, Sarah also knew that Lilith often played with creatures in the forest, so she also accepted to stop destroying the trees and follow Lilith. As expected, it was thanks to Lilith's observation <laughs> skills that they succeeded in getting out of the labyrinth. We've reached the magic waterfall. Well, you're lucky. If it weren't for my blow, you wouldn't be able to see this little turtles. Not acknowledging Lilith's help, <laughs> Sarah continued to fly close to the waterfall, where the god guarded the golden key that opened the cave door, and was fast asleep. Wake up, old man! Give me the key to the place where the eternal light is kept! Go away! I'm sleeping! Old man, I'm in a hurry so you can't sleep at this time! Quickly give me the key! Instead of asking gently, Sarah acted disrespectfully and harassed the god, making him angry and knocking her to a corner. Lilith was timid by nature, and when she saw the angry god, she planned to hide somewhere else. However, her mission was still to find the eternal light. So she tried to take all her courage and asked the god. Excuse me, could you let me know? Uh, it's annoying! I cannot sleep! Lilith thought for a moment, and then realized that the god was angry because his sleep was interrupted. <laughs> so she sang a melodious song to calm the god's mood. Little fairy, I did not expect you to have such a beautiful and resonant voice. 
Yes, huh? this is just a little bit of my talent. Mm. I think it has nothing special. No, the melody of your music is also a rare advantage. I believe it will help you more in the future. And I hope in the future I can still hear your voice echoing again. And now hurry to get in and find the eternal light. Thank you very much! The god mm. gradually calmed down, smiled with satisfaction, and opened the way for Lilith to enter the waterfall before continuing to sleep. As Lilith flew into the cave, she saw the eternal light in the distance. But when she was about to reach for it, Sarah flew over and took the light. However, Sarah wasn't happy for long when she was suddenly attacked by a creature. Who are you? Let me out! As it turned out, it was the god Fox, the guardian of the eternal light and the shadow Lilith saw during the last ceremony. But this time, the god fox did not appear to be as happy as the first time they met, but was extremely angry when he learned that someone had taken its eternal light. Lilith tried to intervene, but the god fox used magic to blow her away. At that time, she accidentally touched the crystal flowers in the cave, causing them to make funny sounds. When he heard the music, suddenly the fox god began to calm down and swayed to the tune. That's right! The first time we met, the fox also heard my voice, and he excitedly danced along. Then... Lilith began to hover around, trying to make sounds on the flowers to calm the fox. Finally, the god fox regained his joy and went to Lilith's place. So you like my music? Then I will play more music for you if you release my friend. Upon hearing Lilith's suggestion, the fox god nodded and released Sarah and at the same time, gave her the eternal light of the magic orb. Lily, huh? you have proven your change and maturity through your journey to find the eternal light. Huh? From the ability to observe and understand, <laughs> to the confidence and courage to overcome fear, you have performed very well. You were even tolerant of your opponents. <laughs> Therefore, you are the most worthy candidate for the throne of the next queen. Thank you for trusting me. I have also gradually realized my abilities and will continue to confidently develop them in the future. Huh? But after the eternal light <laughs> entered the orb, Sarah quickly used magic to attack <laughs> Lilith and flew to steal the magic orb of light. Well, even if the magic orb of light doesn't choose me as its successor, I'll take them down so no one knows about this secret! Having the <laughs> ultimate power in hand, Sarah fired magic at Lilith. The fox god tried to resist, but was defeated. <laughs> Finally, when Sarah was about to deal a final blow to Lilith, the fox god hurriedly covered the blow for Lilith to get the chance to regain the magic orb of light. Lilith quickly retrieved the orb and used the power flowing through her body to defeat Sarah. After that, Lilith hurriedly got to the fox god, but the fox's body gradually disappeared. It seemed that the fox god was gone forever, but it turned into a light magic ball spirit to protect Lilith. Lilith happily embraced the fox's spirit with the magic ball of light in her arms. After that, she and the fox took Sarah back to the forest and told the whole story. The magic ball of light is always right when choosing the next queen. So I believe your ability will continue to grow, and you are worth this position. I will also try my best to fulfill my responsibilities. Witnessing Lilith's progress, the people of the forest also happily blessed her. From then, Lilith became the new queen and established a period of prosperity for the forest.